Okay, so this would be the last data load video. I promise you, <laughs> stick with me. I want you to actually do this together with me, okay? So you get the look and feel on how you can load data and actually do the work. So it's sticking with you as you do it. Because if you're just watching, it's not gonna stick with you. As sticky as you are actually doing it. So I encourage you, please, do this together with me, okay? So with that, let's import the last one, which is the students, okay? The student records. So we have the parents, which we just import. So now I'm gonna make up uh, the student records. So to do that, I'm gonna go back to my Salesforce here. And I am going to actually go to the reports section. And I'm gonna type reports here. Because I need the account IDs of all the parents, okay? So let's make a new one. And accounts. And I'm going to filter all of the accounts. Apply. We just created it. So I'm just going to type record type, account record type equals to family, right? So this would be all the parents. And I want to pull the ID of the account, account ID, there. And I don't need everything else. I'm gonna remove that. I'm gonna remove this guy. I'm gonna remove this guy. And I'm gonna remove this guy. I don't need this as well. I don't need the owner, whoopsie. And I'm going to sort by the account name alphabetically. Even if I don't, let's do it by the account ID. So Margaret Margaret Kane is on top. Margaret Kane, Christy West is second, right? If I go back here, Christy West is second. So this is good. So I'm going to run this. I need the ID here. This is the parents, the account ID, okay? So I'm going to export the 50 records, which is correct. I'm going to click on here and export. Um, details only, I want the CSV, okay? So I'm gonna export this and we have this at the bottom. I'm going to open this. We need the account ID here. So what we are doing is I'm gonna copy this copy this okay and insert here so we have the account id and then this is the account name and then we're going to change the first name to just random names because this would be the kids name so what we're doing here is making a dummy sample data okay so you're on the same page we are making a dummy data to work with our trails. So this is, this is what we are doing. I'm gonna delete the account name and change the first name to just some random names, okay? So I'm gonna pick another set of names. So we have 51 is used up here until Michael Zeno probably. I'm gonna delete that and just get the first name, Stephen John. 51 so this would be the kids names you got it now right so i'm gonna put back here and we're gonna re rename this to students and this would be the kids name boom stephen john this is the kids name all right so we have it so we can remove the others because we don't need the other stuff because we have the parents right so i just did the kids name the account is this this is the contact first name and last name and yep let's save this as students okay not parents but students save okay now that is safe now to load up this student records into our Trailhead Playground, 
we need to use the data loader. We can't do this with the data import wizard because you are actually matching this up and creating just a contact and actually adding a contact to an existing account. So we need to use a data loader. So let's go ahead and reset my password for the wolf. So I'm going to go back here, go back to my trail head here. I'm just going to close this one. Let's close everything out. And I'm going to go to setup here, setup and then change my password. over here so I can log into my data loader to this particular um, trailhead playground okay student at zone.io and that's good I just want to check the email there so I'm going to cancel I'm going to copy the user so we're going to use that to log in and I'm going to just reset the password for Jimmy there reset the password Okay, now I'm going to just pause this and reset the whole thing. There we go. Change the password. So let me save that. Now if I open my data loader. And I am going to insert to a production because Trailhead is a production org. Okay. I'm going to log in and put my username there and my password and hit login. And I have to verify it again. Nine nine four seven nine. Oops, not that one, this one. Nine nine four seven nine verify allow the access and let's go. We are going to go to the contact record and choose our file. We've done this in the admin beginner, remember on my downloads students open and I'm gonna hit next. Okay, so I'm going to choose an existing, no, create map. I'm going to auto match. Nothing is auto match there. So account ID is this guy and first name. Oops. What happened? First name, I want to drag this to here. And then the last name, L O P last name come on this guy all right so I'm gonna hit OK and next and finish and yes bada bing bada boom zero errors congratulations okay that is always good so now we have the student loaded and it's gonna be linked with the parent let's give it a test so Stephen Kane let's look for Stephen Kane all right we are going to go back here and look for Stephen Kane let's go here Stephen Kane oh we got Stephen Kane here so the account name is the mom see but this is Stephen this is Stephen's the account name is Margaret Kane the mom the parent but if you go to the mom's account, you can see the context that is Steven, which is the student, and Margaret, which is the mom. So we have the contact for the mom, this is the student, and we are good to go. So that is the preparation for our admin intermediate trail. Where is it? Admin intermediate trail. Now we are good to go and work on these trails based on our sample data and our sample use case of running the swim kits for the Red Cross Canada. 
So I'll see you on the next video where we are going to dive in our first module to use formula fields. Bada bing, bada boom. I'll see you on the next video. Thank <laughs> you.